So Fluent CRM has uh, new features that were just recently released, but unfortunately I was unable to do the video because I had some allergy problems. In fact, my eye, if you can see, it's actually recovering now, but it was really in a bad state. So I couldn't really do this video on time, but Fluent CRM has done it again. Uh, there are quite a lot of features that I want to go through. Uh, I can't cover all of them, but I'm going to cover the most important ones and the most noticeable ones. And these are really, really, really awesome. And I'm glad that Fluent CRM is continually updating the software and adding more features uh, to make this even more usable. So let's dive in and let's talk about the brand new features of Fluent CRM. In fact, before we begin, I'd like to also remind you that if you buy Fluent CRM using my affiliate link, you will get access to my course and also a 20% discount. All that information is in the video description below. All right, so over here, you can see now our first feature is the new UI on the main Flu Fluent CRM homepage. So as you can see here, we have total contacts, campaigns, emails sent, tags, blah, blah, blah. Now you may be thinking, well, what did it look like before? So let me show you what this looked like uh, before. So before, this is what the dashboard looked like. It was just uh, the list, the contacts, but it was all like in just one main strip. But now it has been changed and it now looks like this. So what you may have not also not noticed is on the top right here, we also have the sales. So it, talk, it will give you all the stats of uh, how your website is performing. So if this is connected to uh, WooCommerce, this is where the stats are going to be, which gives you a very good dashboard where you can see all the information that you need. All right, so let's move on and let me also show you the onboarding. So the onboarding is also quite interesting because if you install Fluent CRM for the first time, you are going to get this onboarding uh, process, which uh, then takes you through setting it up for the first time. Now, I've done a few videos where I talk about how to get started with Fluent CRM. And I'm really glad that these are the exact same steps that you need to take in order for you to get Fluent CRM up and running. Otherwise, it's going to be very, very confusing. So let's go through this one by one. So over here on the top right, as you can see, I have zero out of five complete. So I need to go in now and start doing all these steps. So let's start here with a tag. So a tag is uh, very important when we uh, first get started. So I'm going to come over here and say tags and create a brand new tag. So I'm gonna click here on create tag. So let's call this new customer. Okay, so that's my tag, I'm gonna hit confirm. Okay, so now that I have uh, added my tag, if I come back over here, you can see now that the tag part of it is crossed out. So that's a check mark. Now I have to go to the next one, import contacts. Now, if you already have uh, contacts on uh, Fluent CRM, then you, know, you don't really have to go in and import it, but this is what you need to do. Now, moving on, if you create a new campaign, you can just come over here to your email campaigns, create a new campaign, and it goes through that whole process. So as you can see, this is a much easier way to show you what needs to be done, especially if you're brand new to Fluent CRM. Okay, now let's move on to the next feature or the next update, and this is uh, on the automation UI. So I'm over here now, I'm gonna come to automations. At first, you don't see much, but if you click on create a new automation, you're going to see a new layout here. So this, pan this panel that you have here on the left will showcase all the uh, softwares that are integrated with Fluent CRM. So they will all be listed here on this panel. So as you can see, we have CRM, we have LearnDash, WooCommerce, uh, Learn uh, WordPress triggers. And if you have any more other software that you, that, that you have installed here, it's all going to be shown here. So this was just a UI update and I think this is great because over here now I can go in and see all the triggers that I need for each item. So if I go to WooCommerce as well, you can see I can start my automation with a new order, a completed order, a refunded and so on. And for WordPress triggers, you can see here that it has quite uh, a much easier UI and it's very easy now to uh, find what we need to do as we get started here. So let me also show you what we find inside an, uh, an actual automation. So let's start by uh, creating an internal label here. So I'm gonna say uh, test. And this one here is going to be just a CRM. I'm gonna say tag applied. Now remember, we created a tag in the beginning so I'm going to uh, hit continue. 
and I can select my tag from here. So remember, I created a tag called new customer. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to save settings. So here we also have this draft over here because sometimes it was quite difficult with the old version to see what was going on. Uh, all we had to do was to uh, make it uh, live by coming over here. But here now we can see visually that it says draft, which means that this is not live. So this is a nice and uh, quick addition to this, which I think is also great. Now, when this is up and running or you want to publish it, all you have to do is to click here and now it, this is now public. Okay, so now let's move on to the next part and that is uh, to start building our automation funnel. So over here, if I click on this plus button, now you notice that the UI has also changed here because now we can do quite a lot of things. The icons have changed. And this is something that I really was uh, um, hoping for. And this has been done as well, which is fantastic. So these are all our action blocks. Now over here, we also have um, other sections. So we have email here, send custom email uh, sequences and so on. So it's not as cluttered as it was before, which makes it much, much easier to use. Now let's drill through into all these other items. So now we have these goals. And again, uh, these are, this used to be called benchmarks. So these are now goals, which is a much better way of uh, describing this. We also have our conditions, which is also fantastic here. And it shows uh, all the softwares that are integrated with Fluent CRM. So if it's Learn Dash, you can, you know, start off here with this condition. Um, or if it's something that has um, selected has in selected lists, you know, there's quite a few we can choose from here. And you can also click on view all and this will show you pretty much everything. So WordPress, conditionals, and it also shows you all the CRM stuff. So the UI here has changed and, I, and I'm really excited that it's much, much uh, easier to use. And this is what we want to see with a such a powerful product like this. The next feature I need to talk about is a product block that has been added, which means if you have a product in WooCommerce, you can actually uh, call it out in your email that you need to send out and you can actually add it in there. In fact, it might be a bit difficult for me to explain. Let me show you how that works. So over here, I'm going to go to WooCommerce and create a product. So I'm going to come over here, click on add new. Now let's give this product a name. So let's call this new product. Or in fact, let's give this name like Mac product or something. Okay. So the description goes here. Now let's add the price. So I'm going to say 997 sale price 697. And I'm also going to add a short description and a product image. So in my library here, um, let's add this soup here. I'll set this as a product image and publish. Now there's something else that I also need to show you here. And now, I mean, there's features pretty much everywhere. So while I'm here creating this product, let me also show you what you can do here uh, in terms of automating your system. So here, if I scroll down, you're going to notice that we now have Fluent CRM here. So what this does now, it allows us to add a tag as soon as someone purchases this product. So here we have a tag called new customer. I can select that. I can also remove a tag when someone purchases a product. So it could be that uh, this person is a uh, normal user on my website, just a basic subscriber. So you may want to remove the tag as soon as someone buys from subscriber to new customer. So this is what we've done here. Of, of course, I don't have my uh, tag here, but I can also go ahead and also add actions here. So for the refund actions, you can say, okay, let me set a tag for anyone that I've refunded. And then in the meantime, on the automation, you can set up an automation sequence that starts with the tag refunded. So there's a lot now that you can do. And before I used to be able to set this up with WP Fusion. So I guess this is a feature now that uh, you might not need WP Fusion for. Okay, so here I've added my tag, which is fantastic. So what I'm going to do now is to show you how quickly it is that you can go in and set up your automation based on this new customer. So I'm going to hit update. Okay, great. So now when I come over here to uh, Fluent CRM, 
First of all, I'm going to go to uh, automations. Now, you notice here that I've created an automation. That is why it's crossed out here. But anyway, so automations. Uh, let's start a new automation here. I'm going to say uh, create new automation. So I'm going to say customer here. And this is a WooCommerce automation. And I'm going to say new order, right? And continue. So here I can target a specific product or I can just leave it open uh, just to uh, so that I can just uh, create a specific uh, email address or I can just have a generic email address. So I'm just going to say save settings here. And now I can create my email based on someone who has bought on my website. So I can go ahead now and say send custom email. Now this could be a custom email that is a welcome email or thanking someone for buying the product and telling them the next steps they need to take. Okay, so I'm going to close out of here. Now let's go to uh, the feature that I wanted to talk about and that is uh, the feature where we can add our product. So first of all, let me just come back to my products here and make sure that I've published it. Okay, so you can see my product is here. So now let's go to Fluent CRM. I'm going to come to uh, all campaigns. So I'm just going to create a basic campaign. So now I'm going to click here to create my first email campaign. I'm just going to call this test. Continue. All right. So here there's a few things that you can do. So you can start by typing your information here. So I'm going to say hello at first name. And let's say this is my uh, contact information. Now let's search for that product block. So I'm going to now search for product. And here we go. I can see here we have a product block. Now I can choose my product. So you can see here Mac product is already added here on this uh, bottom part. That is because I created this earlier on in um, WooCommerce. So you need to have created this product first for that product to show here on this uh, product block. So now I can select it and click on done. And notice what happens. Now I have this beautiful layout. It has my short description. It even has the sale price and so on. So when they, when they click buy now, this will automatically take you to the purchase page where you can purchase this product, which is fantastic. And this is happening in our email. So as you can see, this is an amazing update and I'm really excited about this. Now, this could also be a product that you're selling on your website, which does not have to be a physical product. It could also be a downloadable. It could be anything. So this is a really, really cool feature. Now, while I'm here, let me also show you something else that we can do. So uh, when I add my at right i can also add things like a uh, business address so you can see here i can add my business name i can also add a business address at the bottom here so all i have to do is just to add at and then i can just start typing there we go i can add my business address in my email and then i can now go to my next level my next stage so i'm going to hit continue so i'm going to set my test subject now, the reason why I'm going through this step is because there's also another feature which uh, has been added to Fluent CRM. Okay, so now that I have my email subject, I'm going to hit continue. Right. Now, there's one thing, or in fact, uh, in, yeah, let's continue. Hopefully, this will allow me to go to the next step. Now, there's no subscribers, which is a problem. So what I, what I have to do is to add a subscriber onto the list, and then this is going to work. Okay, so I've added a subscriber here on my list. So I am just going to... Okay, so you can see here I have one contact. So I'm going to hit continue. So the feature I need to show you here is quite cool. So this is the email that you get before you send. So this is just showing you a brief overview of uh, the email. So now I'm going to go to uh, send emails now. So what we have here is a brand new dashboard. So this dashboard here is going to show you all your email stats, all the sent items. You also have the activity here. We have uh, campaign performance. So there's a lot of information here that we can see. And this is something that was also added. It really, really looks amazing. And over here, we can also take a look at more information. You can see here. So you can take a look at... Um, all the actions that have been taken, the date and so on. And we also have actions here. So here you can also um, add tags to the subscribers if you want to manually. 
So now the most important thing here is we can see the performance of our emails in a much, much nicer way. And I think this is a great update. So now let me show you what this looks like on my actual website. So I'm going to come over here to campaigns. And this is my actual website, funnels2income.com. And by the way, I also use Fluent CRM. So uh, I'm going to take a look at, uh, let's look at this one here. So I'm going to go to DV Design Workflow and see how this has performed. And right away, you can see I, these are the emails sent, 5,250. I have opens here and I have clicks as well. So this will show me my click-through rate, my open rate, and unsubscribe as well. And over here, I can see these are my unique clicks. And uh, here we also have the emails. Of course, I don't want to reveal uh, the emails of all my subscribers. But as you can see, this is a much cleaner interface and I really, really love it. Now on the automations, there's also something that was added here and uh, this was something that was not there before. And that is, we also have webhooks here on our automation. So let me show you where that is. So let's start by creating a new automation or in fact, let's see if I can uh, add it from here. So there we go, we have an outgoing webhook. So this is an addition uh, that was uh, added to this update. So those of you that use webhooks, you can use this uh, to trigger your, all your automations and this can be also started right from the beginning of your automation. So the next update I'm going to talk about is also quite interesting when it comes to um, managing all your subscribers or your users on your website. So over here, I'm actually on my website. So I'm going to search for a name that is here, uh, which I use as a test. So I'm going to select the name and I want to show you something quite interesting here. So this is my profile here. So when I scroll down here, there's a new tab now called Purchase History. So here I can see all the products that um, all my uh, subscribers or customers have bought. And this is much, much easier when it comes to uh, support. You can actually go in this tab and see what they've actually bought uh, just to you know solve their problems or whatever you need to do. Before, I used to go to WooCommerce, which is a headache to try and uh, find information. But the fact that you can have all this information on a single profile is fantastic now let's move on and there's also another tab here which was added and that is the courses so if I click here on courses this will also show me all the courses that I'm uh, subscribed on it also show me it shows me when I started the status and also if I've completed any of the courses so there we are we have a list here so this right here is only showing learn dash but Let's say I have Lifter LMS or any of uh, Tutor LMS or so, this tab will be added onto our customer profile, which in my opinion is fantastic because it's much easier now to find information about all our customers or subscribers on our website. Okay, so our next feature is on the settings tab. So here we are, Fluent CRM, you go to settings. So I'm gonna come over here to general settings. So here on general settings, uh, as you know, the database of Fluent CRM is on its own and the WordPress database is also on its own. So these two are not linked together. But let's say someone subscribes on your website, on your opt-in, maybe you want them to be added onto your WordPress database. Now we can do this with this new update. So as you can see here, we can automatically sync our WordPress user data with Fluent CRM contact data. So all you have to do is to enable this. And when you delete someone in Fluent CRM, you can also delete the user on WordPress, which is also fantastic. So you can have this uh, checked by default. Now over here, we also have uh, other updates, which is the user sign up opt-in settings. So you can enable uh, to create new contacts in Fluent CRM when users register in WordPress. Now this is huge. And I really like that uh, we can uh, also do this. Now there's also other uh, options here and features that are added. So you can just go ahead and check that out. Okay, so we've come to the end of our updates. I'm pretty sure I've missed quite a few here. So um, I will be covering uh, anything that I may have missed. 
uh, in upcoming videos. I'm going to be going in depth talking about Fluent CRM because all these features here need to be put into context so you can see the power of how they can be used in a real life situation. All right, guys, don't forget you have a 20% discount. The link to that is in the video description below. And don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.